Hello, good morning to everyone. Welcome back to ACT Mathematics class 12th. In this last minute revision chapter 2 e is, chapter 2 is inverse trigonometric function. Let us see what is the important uh, quick revision in the, in this chapter. Okay. What is the chapter name? Inverse trigonometric functions. See in your mind, you should remember this inverse trigonometric functions and those domains and their principal range also. Okay. See this in this table, inverse trigonometry functions, functions are sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, cosecant inverse x, secant inverse x. For sin inverse x function, domain is closure interval minus 1 comma 1 and principal range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. And next cos inverse function, domain is closed minus 1 comma 1 and uh, principal range is closed 0 comma pi. See here, in this relations like sin of sin inverse x equal to x hold, if x is the domain of respective functions, yes. Here, x is in the domain of respective function. So, where x belongs to in domain and sin of sin inverse x equal to x. Okay. And next, tan inverse x in, in inverse trigonometry function. This domain is r, this and principal range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2, open interval. Okay. And next, cosecant inverse, domain is r minus open minus 1 comma 1 and the range is closed minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus single term 0 and secant inverse x. Last inverse trigonometry function is secant inverse x, domain is r minus open interval minus 1 comma 1, closed interval 0 comma pi minus single term pi by 2. Okay. See here, relations like sin inverse of sin inverse x, this value is x only, sin inverse of sin x value is x, hold if x is in the range of respective function. So, here x is in this range and sin inverse of minus x equal to value is minus sin inverse x. Here x is uh, belongs to in domain. What is the domain sin inverse x? This one, closed minus 1 comma 1. See here, tan inverse of sin x, you can write minus tan inverse x, x belongs to domain r, tan inverse domain. Here x belongs to in the domain r. Okay. Cos inverse of minus x you can written as, you can write as mm, pi minus cos inverse x, where x belongs to this one domain, cos inverse x, closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Secant inverse of minus x equal to mm, pi minus secant inverse x, you can write as, and x belongs to in the domain, this one, right open interval, right, or minus, open interval minus 1 comma minus 1. Cot inverse of minus x, see where it is cot inverse of minus x, this one you can write pi minus cot inverse x, where x belongs to the domain R, see, tan inverse, cot inverse domain are same, R only. See, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x value you can write pi by 2 where x belongs to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and cot inverse x plus tan inverse x also equal to pi by 2 where x belongs to r, domain is r, tan inverse x and cot inverse x and next secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x equal this one also pi by 2 where x belongs to in the domain r minus open interval minus 1 comma 1. See, these values are equal to pi by 2. Okay. Next, tan inverse x plus tan inverse y value, this one you can written, you can write as tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x. If x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0, x y less than 1. So, this is important formula and you should remember in these two formulas, one is plus sign, second one is minus tan inverse x minus tan inverse y equal to tan inverse of x minus y by 1 plus x y. If x is greater than 0, a comma y is greater than 0. So, you have to solve some problems according this by using these formulas. Okay. Here, 
and check it these are important next sin inverse x equal to cosecant inverse 1 by x you can write where x belongs to range here is and cos inverse x equal to secant inverse x secant inverse 1 by x reciprocal you can write reciprocal 1 by x where x belongs to in the range and tan inverse x equal to cot inverse of 1 by x x greater than 0 and equal to minus pi plus cot inverse of 1 by x x is less than 0. So, this is the important mind map in this inverse trigonometric function. Next important formulas see what is the important formulas domain and principal value branch range of inverse trigonometric function. See, let us see once again domain and range just I told you know in that uh, previous slide ok sin inverse x is domain is this one range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 cos inverse is x domain is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and uh, pr principal value this is principal value that is range my closed interval 0 comma pi and next tan inverse x is domain is r and closed minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 open interval cosecant inverse x is domain is open interval minus infinity comma minus 1 closed union closed 1 comma in open interval infinity and range is closed minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus singleton 0 second inverse x domain is r and range is this one closed 0 comma pi minus singleton pi by 2 cot inverse x is domain is this one and range is this one. So, sin inverse x is not equal to sin inverse x whole inverse ok sin inverse x equal not equal to sin inverse x whole inverse x sin inverse x is not equal to sin inverse of 1 by x sin inverse x not equal to 1 by sin x ok this is our note this is equal I think this is equal equal to have to write 1 by sin x. So, so, this is the inverse trigonometric function C in a sign node. Okay. These are important formulas. Next, usual results. Sign inverse of sin theta equal to theta, where theta belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2, comma pi by 2. Cos inverse of cos theta equal to theta, where theta belongs to in this closed interval 0, comma pi. Tan inverse of tan theta also you can write theta because tan inverse tan inverse you can write 1 by tan right 1 by tan in theta into tan theta right. So, tan inverse you can write 1 by tan here they given tan inverse of tan inverse of tan theta no they given. So, tan inverse is 1 by tan one by tan into tan theta. See here this tan this tan cancel remaining is only theta. So, tan inverse of tan theta value is theta cot inverse of cot theta also theta you will get. So, where theta belongs to open interval 0 comma pi and cosecant inverse of cosecant theta all value also theta. So, this theta is belongs to closed minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus single tan 0 and as secant inverse of secant theta also theta theta belongs to in this interval and sin of sin inverse x equal to x this value also where x belongs to domain x belongs to in the domain sin inverse inverse trigonometry function domain closed interval minus 1 comma 1. So, these are the results ok next cos of cos inverse x also x where x belongs to in the domain tan of tan inverse also x where x belongs to r cot of cot inverse also x x also x x belongs to r this one also x this x is belongs to in the domain second of second inverse x equal to x x belongs to in the domain sin inverse of minus x you can write as minus sin inverse x x belongs to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 cos inverse of minus x you can write pi minus cos inverse x x belongs to closed minus 1 comma 1 tan inverse of minus x equal to minus tan inverse x where x belongs to in r cot inverse of minus x equal to pi minus cos t inverse x x belongs to r cosecant inverse of minus sin x equal to minus cosecant inverse x mod x is greater than or equal to 1 or x belongs to in the domain secant inverse of 
minus x equal to pi minus second inverse x. You can write as pi minus second inverse x. Okay. So thank you. These are the important figures.